Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. With the new Lens Studio 2.3 update available now, we have the ability to create shaders using the material editor. Now this is going to give us a lot of functionality over how we render each pixel and vertex in our objects. So as you can see from the preview, we have a few shaders that I created using tutorials from a YouTuber called Gabriel Aguiar. So I'm going to link his channel in the description in case you wanted to check him out as well. So we have the cloud shader up above. We have this little fire shader right here and a water shader. So three pretty cool shaders that are pretty much just using noise. Um, the only thing that is using outside texture is just the fire so that I could kind of create an opacity mask to make it look fire shaped. Otherwise, everything in here is procedural, meaning there's no outside textures, it's all created within the shader graph. So let's uh, take a quick look at these. We will start off with the water shader. So I'm not going to go too in depth into how to create every single one of the shaders, uh, but what I will do is provide this project so that all of you can pick through it and kind of see how everything is done. So like, let's say, for example, we wanted to see just what the noise looked like. Let's just completely bypass everything and put it in the color. So as you can see, it's just this little noise texture here. So this is the vertex displacement. This is actually what makes the uh, vertices in our 3D objects move around and actually animate. And the same kind of a thing happens with the cloud animation. This one is a little bit more complicated, so I won't get too much into detail with this, but it has the same concept of creating this noise texture. In this case, it's multiple noises mixed together. And then we kind of have this little area here to colorize it, as well as the vertex displacement. And both the water and the cloud shaders are using the same circle that I created. So this is a circular shaped object, but as you can see, it's got quite a bit of triangles. This is so the vertex animation can look smoother and uh, basically, the lower the amount of triangles and vertices you have, the more jagged the uh, vertex animation will look. So this is basically a high-res version so that you can make these clouds kind of look smoother. And then we have our tune shader, which is actually just applied to an image object that I created here. So the flame shader, like the cloud shader, has two different noise textures that are mixed together or multiplied together. So I'm going to link the project for all of these shaders in the description below so that you can go ahead and try them out and customize them. For each one, all you need to do to customize is to click on the shader and change the properties. So like, let's say for this water, we want the swirl to be a little bit more intense. As you can see, that kind of adds the swirl. If we want to change the scale, so maybe the scale is going to be smaller or bigger and the ripple speed, how fast it moves, as well as the dissolve. This is kind of like the intensity of the ripples. And the vertex offset is basically how much the vertex animation affects it. And this is kind of the same with the other ones. We have our colors here that we can mess around with. And yeah, that's uh. That's pretty much it. The cloud one is going to have a lot more, uh, I guess, customization, you could say. There's a lot of different uh, things you can do with this to change how it looks. So, anyways, that's it. Have fun, everyone. Happy holidays.